Oh, thanks. Merry Christmas to you too. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? No. What about that other gourd you have? Isn't that my present? Beauty gave it to me as my present. It's special only sake that you can only have once a year. Well, can I have some? This is specially brewed only sake. It is too powerful for a mere human like you. I am not a mere human. I am the Hakurei Shrine Maiden. There's no sake I can't handle. Give me some of that. Okay then. Remu, what happened? I need more of this stuff. Are you going to Emilia's party? Yeah, I'm going if only to get some food. How about you, Suika? Yes, I was invited, but can only go after two hours. This is to give everyone a chance to have some alcohol before me and Yuji come in and drink it all. I heard everybody's going to be at the party. Yeah, she wants to show off, but she won't even look at you if you aren't popular. Sweet, that makes me the person of honor. There's only one person of honor at these parties, and her name is Romilia Scarlet. In any case, I'm ready, so let's go. On, clown piece, we're going. You're inviting those two? Not clown piece, but Romilia invited her. She wants her to make a bonfire. As for On, it is Christmas, but I can't afford a present for anyone. I might as well do something nice for her. Oh, Miss Raymu, I don't need a present. Simply being a part of the Hakuri family is all the present I need. Good, because that's cheap enough for me to give away. I'm part of the Hakuri family too, right? No. Delicious dango for sale. Come get your festive dango here at Saren's Dango Stall. Please, I need some extra cash for the holidays. I heard her dango is pretty good. Yeah, but it doesn't compare to Ringo's. Her dango is even better. It's a bit more expensive, but it's worth it. She's over on the other side. Let's go get some. Alright, that's the last one. Sorry guys, but I'm closing early due to the holidays. My friends say Iran probably has more. You can get some from her. No one's dango compares to yours, Ringo. Yeah, your dango is the best. Come on guys, you're embarrassing me. house business the same as always not good enough even after relocating people would rather go to your stall buying better ingredients didn't help at all now i don't have enough money to have christmas dinner looks like i'm eating my own stock this year as well i'll lend you some money if you need it i don't want your money come on say ron get out of this slump you're in how about instead of eating dinner all alone again this year, come to my house and we can celebrate Christmas together, like we used to, remember? Look, it's those two moon rabbits. Didn't they try to take over Jinsokyo years ago? They did, didn't they? Why are they still here? Are they still trying to take over? Don't buy any dango from them. I bet it has some kind of poison. Or maybe a spell to turn us into yokai. 
We're mole rabbits, not you, Kai. The Ari type of you, Kai. Maybe Earth rabbits, but we moon rabbits are purified. We're not the same. In any case, the haters are just a minority. Everybody else has welcomed us to Kensukio with open arms. Don't listen to those haters who put you down. I don't need Ringo's pity. I don't want her to lend me money or invite me to have Christmas with her alone. She is just pitying me. I bet she would rather be at a party than spend Christmas alone with me. What are you doing this Christmas? It's Christmas. Hello, how are you doing? All good. What do you want, Moon Rabbit? You think you're better than us because you come from the moon, don't you? I don't think I'm better than you or anyone. I lack the confidence to do so. You Moonies, always thinking you're better than us, you Kai. I may be from the moon, but I'm still a rabbit just like you. You think you're too good to be compared to an Earth Rabbit because the moon provides you. I bet you think all Earth Rabbits are dirty and nasty. It's not what you think. I don't look down on Earth rabbits. I just want us to be friends. Go back to the moon. No Earth rabbit likes your kind down here. You'll never be a part of Gensokia, Mooney. Why are you treating me so badly? I'm as much as part of Gensokia as any other rabbit. Didn't you hear her? Beat it, you Mooney. Hey, what do you think you are doing? Miss Inaba, we were just... I heard what you said. I'd expect this from the dumb humans, but to pick on your own kind. She's not a can. She's a moon rabbit. They think they're better than us. They don't deserve to live among us earth rabbits. How about you try saying that to my face? You were lucky it's the holidays. But once Christmas is over, you're going into overtime work. If you don't get out of here... Don't listen to them. Some rabbits are just so full of themselves. Yeah, I'll take care of them later. I didn't need your help. Hey, is that how you get thanks? I definitely didn't ask you for help. Don't get the wrong idea. We just wanted to help you. Don't even bother. I don't want help from anyone coming from Inte. Did you see what she said to me? How rude of her! That's just how Siren is. She's a bit antisocial, but she's not so bad when you get to know her. I'm going to be mad all night, you know? We're here to attend Romilia's party, right? Just forget what happened and have a good time. Hi, Raisin. I see you are here to attend the party. But where is a Rin? Lady Yagokuro didn't want to attend, so we came by ourselves. Alrighty then, come on in. I'm sorry, Tui, but you're not allowed in. You're on the do not invite list. The what list? Even though the party is open to all, she wants to keep troublemakers out. I'm sorry, but you can't enter. You better be joking. I want to join the party. There is an exception. If someone of good reputation can vouch for you, then I can allow you entry. Good, because there isn't one to attend if I don't. We are a team. So if I'm not invited, she's not invited. Isn't that right? Reason. <laughs> Thank you everyone for attending my Christmas Eve party.
I hope the festive environment will bring cheer and merriment to everyone here as we celebrate Christmas, and what better way to celebrate than by burning the wicker man behind me. I don't recall that being a Christmas tradition. And I don't recall wanting your opinion. Anyway, since burning a wicker man with a human sacrifice is forbidden, I decided to simply do the alternative and burn it with the souls of millions instead. Now then, clown peace, if you will do the honors. I guess one of the workers was still inside. Oh well. At least there will be barbecue. Hey Remo, how is it going? Alright. Sorry for bothering you. So how are you enjoying the party? Aside from the nightmare inducing scream I heard earlier. It's not so bad. Very good, but where is your master? I didn't see you escorting her. They're going to be entertaining a guest tonight. That goes for me as well, so I'll be leaving soon. That's a pity. I wanted Jensokyo's most prominent to be in my party, but I guess it can't be helped. Though I do wonder why you bothered to come if you are to be summoned so soon. I'm not under orders to return. If anything, Lady Yagokoro and Lady Horazen insisted I remained. But I feel guilty if I'm not there attending to our esteemed guest. I see. Well, you are a moon rabbit. After all, that's what you were bred for. I'm sorry, but did you just insult me? I'm just saying that most of the prominent members of Gensokyo usually come with an entourage. I didn't expect for the entourage itself to appear by themselves. But that's okay. You're free to attend for as long as you want. Just be sure to be home before curfew. Don't want to make your mommy mad, do we? Hey, put that back! Bite me. I'm fed up with Christmas already. I think I'll stay home all day tomorrow and not talk to anyone until Christmas is over. I'm so tired. I just want to get to bed. What is this? Hey there. We're not open yet. But don't worry, it'll be open for Christmas Day for all your holiday needs. Who are you? Someday, I'm gonna be so prominent, they're gonna stone anyone who asks that. Did you bug this monstrosity? Monstrosity! This is the 50th location of the Lunar Market Superstore, and we're gonna open in time for Chimatomo's... This land is a sanctuary for moon rabbits. You can't just build anything anywhere you want. Oh, but this land was up for grabs. Considering the previous incident, I was surprised that this area was not claimed. But I claimed this land. I even had it consecrated. It's my land. If you did get it consecrated, then something must have canceled it out. When I scouted this area, it was practically purified. Purified? Wait, I have a loner gem that purifies things. That must be it. You must have purified the land after you got it consecrated. Not before. Please, you have to give me this land back. This is supposed to be a safe haven for moon rabbits to not only protect us from impurity, but to be a safe space from the haters. Sorry, but that's not my problem. But hey, cheer up. I'll give you some coupons for all your trouble. No, this can't be happening. But I'm too tired to put up with this. I just want to go home and go to bed. Where is my house? House? I don't recall seeing a house. All there was here was this amateur-looking structure that looked like it had a billion housing violations. So, we tore it down and built a Chamada Bucks instead. Why is this happening to me? Not only is my business doing terrible, but now I lost my only home. Your business is doing terribly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. If only there was a goddess you can pray to every day, then perhaps she could bless your business, or better yet, give you a career opportunity. 
By owning a Lunar Rainbow Superstore franchise location, you're being a part of the Tenkyu family. And by joining the cult of Tenkyu, you can enjoy the security that only a market goddess can provide for your business. Not all locations are available. Not valid with any other offer. Applicable taxes paid by franchisees. This does not include the 50% tithing. Must forsake any and all previous gods, with exception of Knopfo and the Maria Shrine, a joint venture of the Asaka Tenkyu Enterprise. You done told me you were tan on girls and my grounds. Yes, a little girl. Why don't you clean up as long as I consecrated grounds with your demon jiggy? It didn't occur to me. I mean, shouldn't your power be resistant to purification? If I is a goddess, maybe. But I just may know you, Manda. Can't you help me get my land back? Sorry, but my power ain't gonna compete with that of a goddess. Even if it's our low tier one, not to matter. Looks like you lost that land. Now, if you don't bother with me, I'd like to get back to my lonely Christmas hell. So please be so kind as to get out my property before I chop you into bits and have myself our Christmas red stew. We even just finished the entire table reserved for her. Good. I told you that a single 50 foot long table was enough to satisfy her, but you better set up the next 100 tables. Yuyuko will be here any minute. We still need more time set up. In that case, I will greet her to distract her. In the meantime, prepare the draw. I'm going to need your name before you attend. My name is Siren. Oh, you're Siran. Well, I'm sorry, but Remilia put you in the band list. But I don't even know Remilia. Why would she ban me? I can answer that. You see, this party was made to show off my prowess to all of Gensokyo's prominent and elite, so I have to keep the troublemakers out of my property. But I'm not a troublemaker. I've never caused anyone any problems. Oh, that's right. There's actually a second condition to be banned from my party. No dorks or losers allowed, and I believe you qualify for both. Only cool kids allowed. You also smell like a poopy head. That's not fair, you don't even know me. You can't just pick and choose who you don't like randomly. I know you enough. You're that pathetic girl who tries to sell Dango in the village near the Samzu River. I am not pathetic. I was a former Eagle Ravy. Yes, a reconnaissance unit, as in the lowest position in the military. But my job was to infiltrate. That's a very dangerous job. Probably because they were trying to get rid of you. But even if I invited you, you were just going to leave my party like the other moon rabbits anyway. Other moon rabbits? Ryzen was here but she just left not too long ago. Ringo was also here but she left before the party even began. You invited Ringo? I ordered a large amount of Dango and allowed her to stay, but she said she didn't want to attend. She's a rather extroverted rabbit who can hold a conversation, so I don't mind her staying, since you're her friend. Ask her to attend the festivities. You know where she lives, right? Convince her to come and if she vouches for you, then I can allow you to attend. That way people will simply think you are her pet. You know what? I don't want to attend anymore. <laughs> oh, are you all right? Have you lost your mommy? <coughs> Someone help! This Yuka is trying to eat my daughter. Wait, I was trying to comfort her. Help, help! Yuka tried to kidnap my child! Humans don't respect me. Not even Earth Rabbits either. My business is doing terribly, and I lost my home. And now my cart with all my belongings is gone. I'm no homeless and penniless. Looks like I have no choice but to go to Ante for shelter, or maybe stay with Ringo. No, I won't do either. I did left the moon just to depend on others, especially Aaron and especially Ringo. I'm a former Eagle Rabbi. I was trained to survive. I will overcome this and prove to everyone that I'm not a weakling.
I'll prove them all wrong and then I'll get some respect. Thank goodness you woke up. What happened? Where am I? You're at Ente and you fell into a frozen lake. But I heard your middle SOS right before you took the plunge. Thank goodness I was in the vicinity at the time. I managed to pull you out before you sank. Why did you even bother? I didn't need your help. I could have gotten out on my own. I don't need you or any other Lonarian's help, and I didn't ask to be taken to Auntie. Why don't you mind your own business? I see you're still in shock. You should get some rest. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Thank goodness. When I heard the news, I came rushing in here. There was no need to rush. And there was no need for anyone's help. I could've gotten out myself. But in any case, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm not interested in anyone's hospitality, especially that of a Lonarian. I'm leaving. You really need to rest. You fell into freezing water. But I don't want to be here. I don't want to be with these Lunarians. Come on, Tehran. These are our friends. They are not my friends. Erin and Kagia. They only see rabbits as their servants, just like how they see Reason. Hey, why didn't you tell me you became homeless and got robbed? But how did you know that? You were close enough to my home that I could read your mind. At best, it should have been feigned. You can't possibly have hearing that sensitive. I went out and looked for the guy who took your stuff. I didn't find him, but I found your cart. They took a lot of your valuables, but at least I found your mallet. I don't need that thing anymore. It's just a tool representing my suffrage to the Lonarians. Say wrong, did something happen? I know you're down on the dumps, but I've noticed lately you've been very crabby. Well, we all can't be like you. You were always so popular. It doesn't matter if it's the loner capital or Gensukyu. You're always popular no matter where you go. But I'm just a dork and a loser, just like Remili said. Speaking of which, why aren't you at Remili's party? She specifically asked for you. I don't care for those fancy parties. Besides, don't we always have Christmas together? I'd rather spend Christmas alone with you. So you can pity me. I get it now. This has all been just an act, hasn't it? Poor old Siren can't make any friends because she's a dork. That's probably why I was an infiltrator when I was in the Eagle Rabel unit. While you got the cushy job of informant, my teeth would have been of no loss. All right, knock it off, Siren. I don't want you to talk like that. Just leave me alone, okay? What about our Christmas dinner? Didn't I told you to stop pitying me? Enough with the charade. There's nobody to impress here, so cut it out already. Just go to Remilia's party, or anyone's Christmas dinner. I'm sure everyone will invite you if you just walk in, unlike me who nobody cares about. I can see you've been through a lot, but if you won't come home, then at least stay here. You may not have a good opinion about Lunarians, but Aren and Kaguya are not our enemies, they're our friends. 
As soon as I get better, they're going to dim in payment and make me do all sorts of chores. Just like how it was on the moon, just like how they treat reason. If that's the case, why don't I just go back to the moon? Stop saying such crazy things. I lost everything here, the parties. That was Gensokyo is now turning into a nightmare. Not even Gensokyo itself wants me here. It's a full moon tonight. I think I'll take the cane passageway and return to the moon. You can't go back to the moon. None of us can. We're fugitives. If you go back, they'll execute you. I don't need to live in the loner capital. I can just stay in the outskirts. I'll develop the moon rabbit sanctuary somewhere away from the capital. It will be a safe space for all rabbits on the moon to be protected from our oppressors. You know very well there's few places to inhabit on the moon. Not to mention most moon rabbits wouldn't follow you. They're complacent being servants to the Lunarians. That wasn't our case, which is why we left. Then I guess I was wrong. I guess I was always meant for servitude. I'll keep this safe for you when you get better. Then I'll prepare your room in my house. I mean it. I'm going back to the moon. There's nothing here for me anymore. By morning, you won't find me here in Gensuki. Aaron said that you'll be fine with a good night's rest. Now give me time to prepare our Christmas dinner. It sure would be nice to have a nice quiet dinner together like we used to. Because, you know, you're my best friend. I overheard. She's not serious about going to the moon, is she? Relax. Even she knows that she can't go back to the moon. She's just in a winter slump, that's all. Just give her some time and she'll be back to herself. I hope I'm not being disrespectful, but why are you her friend? We didn't really talk back on the moon, but I tried to be her friend here. But she just seems so awkward around people. It's really difficult to talk to her due to her social distancing. I'm sorry to say, but I've pretty much given up on being her friend. I'm her friend because of those very reasons. Nothing but lies. Nobody wants to be my friend on the moon. Here on Earth, I'm nothing, and I'm sure even if I build a sanctuary on the moon, nobody will care. If that's the case, then I might as well go through with what I said, and live in the outskirts of the moon. It's a full moon tonight, so the cane passageway should be accessible. Once I start feeling better, I'll take it and leave Gensokyo forever. Goodbye, Gensokyo. Goodbye, Ringo. She wasn't submerged for that long. She should be fully recovered by tomorrow. I guess it was a good thing you left the party so early, otherwise she would be in critical condition. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? But I suppose you want to go back. I can't go back. I have to serve Lady Kishin. I can entertain her by myself. You should just go out and enjoy yourself. I really, that's subservient. What brought this on? At the party, Romilia said some mean things. Siren also said a couple of scathing things. I guess you still are carrying the burden of servitude you received back on the moon. But over time, you will soon learn to appreciate your freedom. Just like those two other moon rabbits. You mean Ringo and Siren? Ringo doesn't need an explanation. But Siren, by the sounds of it, seems like she's troubled. But the fact that she left her position on the moon and became fugitives like us is not something many can do. There's hidden strengths in that girl. But looks like that has ended for her. She's thinking of going back to the moon. That can't be good. Going back to the moon would be a death sentence. She's thinking of living in the outskirts of the lunar capital. In other words, into the nothingness of the moon. Because if she doesn't starve to death, then either the Lunarians are going to find her, or she will be at the mercy of that wraith, Junko. Lady Yagokoro, I don't ask for many favors, but is there nothing you can do to help her? You really think she's going back to the moon? She's down on her luck here in Gensokyo, and even though I don't know her personally, I know for a fact she's capable of taking drastic measures. 
that's the reason why she was an infiltrator. Other than being seen as cannon fodder, that is. As a former Lunarian, I don't see why I should bother with a mere moon rabbit. But I am a former Lunarian. The ways of the moon are in the past. I am more of a humble doctor now, one who takes care of her patients, be it human, yokai, or moon rabbit. But talking to her won't do any good if you and Ringo could not convince her, let alone myself who she finds as an enemy. In that case, go out and bring Clown Peace here. You have an idea already. My imagination has already been racing with a plan, and it requires the assistance of a few characters. But you have to act fast because Siron knows about the Cayenne Passageway. If she drifts off to sleep, she may unconsciously access it. I'll see if Sagumi can talk to Dormi about halting her progress. But in the meantime, go get Clown Peace. I'm on it. Please, leave me alone. I don't want to be victimized anymore. I already decided to go back to the moon. Why do you continue to torment me? No, can't run away anymore. I'm at their mercy. It's no use resisting, but please be gentle. You want me to wear that, but it hardly covers anything, but I guess I have no choice. No, don't touch my tail, it is very sensitive. Every time someone touches my tail, it makes me tingle. <laughs> Oh, Dormy, you saved me from that nightmare I was having. Right, nightmare. Putting that aside, I heard you're calling. You want access to the Kayan passageway. Yes, I was trying to access it because I'm trying to go back to the moon. That's right. It's a full moon, making it the right time to access it. But it's also Christmas, a time to spend with friends and family. And the last time I checked, you have none to speak of on the moon. I have known in Gensukyo either. I'm truly alone in this universe. I might as well just go back to where I came from and live there all by myself. If that's how you truly feel, then I can give you access. But I was asked a favor by your friends to convince you to turn back. According to your records, you are too shy to talk to others. And even when you are approached, you shun them away. You were also bullied back on the moon. And even now, treated unfairly in Gensokyo. It's no wonder that you are having nightmares. Your anxiety is affecting your dreams, causing you to believe the world is against you. Until your sexual frustrations kick in, which turns your nightmare into ours. Seriously, you need a boyfriend. But have you ever thought for a second that perhaps you are wrong? That there is someone who might love you and you are pushing them away? Before you can return to the moon, come with me and let me show you a vision. Just imagine what life would be in Gensokyo without you. I can show you this vision using my powers. But this is just ain't hey. Not quite. It's Christmas morning, but you left for the moon the night before. Look and see how Aaron and Raisin handle the big news. Looks like we were too late. I wish she wasn't so hasty. I now regret saying I gave up on her. I just wish I had one more chance to convince her to stay. There is no point in lamenting. Siron made her decision, and we'll just have to live with it. I have to go and get her back. She's not going to survive on her own. You know you can't do that. You're actually more of a priority than she is to the Lunarians. If you go back to the moon, you'll never be able to come back to Gensokyo.
But there has to be something I can do. I know you're hurt, but there's nothing you can do. If you couldn't convince her here, then you won't be able to on the moon. I can't believe that Reason is taking this so seriously. I would thought she wouldn't care about me after all the times I told her to back off. She's not the only one. Let us follow her. I'm sorry that your friend is gone. I'm sorry too. But don't worry, she will come back eventually. I mean, can't she take her way back home? She can. But I'm more worried she will be captured before she had a chance. I'm just hoping nothing bad can come from this. But it's Christmas. Don't be too sad. Let's just enjoy our time here. Oh, I guess it's Christmas time, so let's enjoy our time off. We'll also dedicate this Christmas to our friend Sarah and hoping she will come back to us safely. That's one down. You can do more to go. Maybe the rest of the moon rabbits will see this as an example and go back to the moon where they belong. Or maybe Siren will tell the Moonies to come and pick up the others. Yeah, that would be great. And then we wouldn't have to deal with those snobs thinking they are better than us Earth Rabbits. As much as I feel sorry for Reason, the Earth Rabbits just don't care for us. But surely you have more allies in other places. Let's see what is happening where you usually set up shop. Well, it's the same as always. Wait, is that Ringo? I thought she was taking a break for Christmas. Why is she working today? And why do you think she was taking a break in the first place? As I recall, you two were going to have Christmas dinner. Maybe she doesn't want to go to an empty house and be all alone. That's probably why she decided to set up her stall today. There is no way she would wait for me after I told her off. Besides, if she really was alone, she would probably go to another party or someone else's house. Is that so? Then let us skip a few hours and see where she goes during Christmas night. Now where are we? Where do you think? This is Ringo's house. What is this? Is she crying? Wait, those are photos from us back in the moon. You used to take selfies of each other, remember? We did, but that was before I realized she was pitying me, considering that I was everyone's dormant back on the moon, and she was one of the most popular girls at the military base. There was no reason for her to be friends with me. The only thing I can think of is that she thought of me as charity. She just wanted to make herself look good in front of everybody. In the end, she was faking it for her own gain. But look at the smiles she's giving in these photos. Look at the tears on her face. Does that look fake to you? If anything looks fake, it's the smile on your face. Hi, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. Merry Christmas to you, too. How about instead of sulking here, why not have dinner with me and Lady Yagokoro? You're always welcome at Inte. Ah, uh, thanks, but I better be here when Seiran returns. Once she realizes that she can live on the moon, she'll surely change her mind. It's still a full moon. I bet that she'll be here any moment now. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I can't wait to see Siren again. There's still a few days left of the full moon. She'll surely come back in a few days. She just has to. I still don't believe any of this. There's no way that Ringo would be that attached to me. She's just acting. It has to be. I've seen enough. Get me out of here. So I take it you're not convinced? 
Not at all. In fact, I think you made all that up. I think that was just a weird dream you made me go through. I didn't say it was a vision, but it is by no means false. You will be missed by your friends for certain. In any case, I have not changed my mind. Take me to the moon and let Jinsuki forget about me. Very well, if that's what you wish. I didn't figure it'd be so quick, but I guess this is what I wanted anyway. And now here I am in the moon, all alone. I guess I'm just going to start my life all over, this time without the haters and bullies, but also no friends. Hi. Clone Peace, what are you doing here? I was sent here by Raysen to convince you to go back. So it was Reason. I bet she was the one who told Doremi as well. Well, I don't care what a Lunarian like Reason thinks. So whatever it is she told you to tell me, you might as well forget about it. I wasn't told to tell you anything. She just told me to get the attention of the military. What do you mean? The Lunarians are paranoid of fairies ever since Mama tried to invade the Lunar capital. Once they saw me they sent out a search party. It won't be long before they find you. Why did you do that? Oh no, I better hide. They may not come this far. I'll stay above the Sea of Tranquility until things calm down. That won't do you any good, because then you'll have to face Auntie. Your auntie? Auntie is very angry with the Lunarians. She won't show you any mercy. You're finally awake, thank goodness. Reason, what are you doing on the moon? You're not on the moon, you're back in Jinsokyo. The Lunarians captured and imprisoned you, but you managed to escape and return to us. What are you talking about? I was just on the moon before I blacked out. The Lunarians have returned to Jinsokyo and are taking back all moon deserters. They even managed to find Inte and have taken Lady Yagakuro and Lady Horizon. They took Eren and Kakuya, but how could this have happened? How did they manage to pull this off? You gave them all the information they needed. You were tortured for the information. That's impossible. I never entered the loner capital. Even if they did capture me, I would never. Wait, why are you helping me? If I betrayed Gensokyo, shouldn't you be mad? I don't blame you. Besides, the fact that you escaped and returned to us means you didn't betray us. You're still on our side, and I'm actually glad that you're safe. Let go of me! I'm not going anywhere! Oh no. They found, hey? You won't get away with this! I forget! And the leader of the rabbit. And that includes all the rabbits as well. Just you wait, I will kill every one of you! Lady Yagokoro told me to lay low, but I can't stand it. Rimu Marissa and Sane are already in the fray, and more of our allies will join us. Stay here where it's safe. I'm going to save our friends. Is this really happening? But I can't recall anything. But it must be true. Jensuki has been invaded. And it's all my fault. Oh no! Ringo!
Say, Ron, is that you? Yeah, it's me. When I heard about the invasion, I had to come and check on You have no idea how worried I was about you. I'm so glad you're all right. Are you serious? You'd realize that this invasion is practically my fault, right? I don't know the details, but I'm just glad you're okay. You're not mad either? No, of course not. I just had enough of this. This invasion is my fault because I gave them all the information they needed. I'm practically a traitor. But what happened exactly? I don't know. I went to the moon and then blacked out, only to end up back here. But that's not the point. The point is, why do you care so much about me? I was bullied in the moon for my shabby behavior. My life here in Gensuki didn't turn out for the better, and I keep pushing people away because of my frustration. Yet people keep trying to comfort me, even after all this, especially you who should be the angriest of them all. Ringo, why do you forgive me so easily? Why do you want to be my friend when you can make friends with anyone else? Why do you want to make friends with a loser like me? Because we're not so different, say Ron. What? Remember a few years ago, when we first came to Skin Tokyo? I decided to stay here instead of going back to the moon. No other moon raven would dare disobey orders, but you decided to stay with me. What does that have to do with this? Think about it. Why didn't you go back to the moon at that time? You didn't have to stay with me, but you chose to do so. I still don't understand. How could you do this? You were supposed to be on our side. What are you complaining about? You said so yourself. Ringo was never your friend to begin with, and Gensokyo did you ill, or did you not say this? But thanks to you, we Lunarians managed to get our revenge. Now, we can take over Gensokyo. Return to us, Saren. I will make sure you will be forgiven for your transgressions, and rewarded for your service to the Lunar Capital. You will get the adoration of the Watatsuki sisters, your fellow moon rabbits will praise you as a hero, and you will receive the respect that has been long overdue on the moon. You're wrong! I don't hate Gensokyo! I love Gensokyo! This is the paradise I've been dreaming of since I was on the moon! And even though... I complained about some people hating me. I know for a fact that the majority are kind and wonderful. But you don't care. You Lunarians don't care. You even betrayed Antia. They never held any grudges against you and welcomed you. Erin, Kagei, and Reason didn't deserve this, especially Ringo. You didn't have to kill her. How dare you kill my best friend? Then die. Where am I now? Am I dead? You can relax, Ziron. You're back in the real world. Your visions are over now. Over? What do you mean I was shot? I had a feeling you were overdoing it, Dormy. But as you said, words weren't getting to her. Perhaps seeing the consequences will be the thing to convince her. What are you talking about? And you, didn't you just shoot me? Sagume didn't do a thing to you. It was all a dream. A dream? We figured that our attempts to talk to you were not working. So I created a concoction that will give you a hallucination of things that were to come. My own patented dream pills, infused with Ryzen's insanity-inducing ability along with the assistance of Dormi's dream power. This was the medicine you were given earlier that gave you those visions. Or at least I hoped. Obviously I couldn't test it. You may feel a slight burning pain when you urinate, by the way. 
You mean I never made it to the moon? I did send you to the moon, but had Clown Peas keep an eye on you, while Sagume came to send you back when you blacked out. So that nightmare I had of Gensoku being invaded didn't happen. I'm sorry to make you go through that. But at the same time, we wanted to let you know that you are loved here. I wanted to prevent you from going to the moon for practical reasons, but at the same time, I felt you were better off here in Gensokyo. I know times are tough, but you have allies ready to help you. You're among friends, Siron. That was what we were hoping you would learn from this. So it was all a dream. In that case, there's just one thing I need to know, but I have to speak to a certain someone. Hey, you're here earlier than expected. But shouldn't you be resting? Ringo, I had a dream the night before about you. Something good, I take it. You were shot and died. Oh, never mind then. It's a long story, but I went from the moon and back thanks to Aaron's shady drug. I dreamed a horrible alternative reality where Gensuki was taken over, and all my friends were killed by the Lunarians. But my mental well-being and my lifelong trauma is not important right now. I need to apologize to you. Apology? For what? Everything was going wrong with me lately, and I kept pushing people away when I should have been asking them for help. I guess my experience on the moon never left me, but I think it's time I forget the past and move toward a better future. But not only that, I must confess that I have been jealous of you for a long time. Jealous of me? Yes, I was always jealous of you, Ringo. I was jealous about your outgoing personality and popularity. I was jealous about your skills that got you promoted to a high rank. I was jealous that your boobies were bigger than mine and you could get a boyfriend. Those things mean nothing, Seiron. You don't have to be jealous of me for that. And I take it the last one was some strange compliment. The point I'm trying to make is that I was wrong. I shouldn't be jealous of you, because in the end you were always there with me. And I failed to see that until now. Will you forgive me? What's to forgive? You're just being the same old Seiron I've always known. Don't worry about it. After all this time, after all that has happened, you still want to be my friend. I never understood why you would stand by my side even after abandoning the moon. Why are you my friend, Ringo? The reason why you're my best friend is because I was destined to be your best friend. That's not exactly the answer I wanted. But does it really matter? You're my best buddy, and that's all that should really matter. Maybe instead of asking silly questions, maybe you should just accept that we're destined to be best friends forever. That's all there is to it. I don't get it, but after everything I've gone through, maybe it's time I finally... And look at you, you haven't recovered yet. How about instead of worrying about silly things, how about you take a rest while I get Christmas dinner ready? Oh yes, Christmas dinner. It's been a few years, hasn't it? <laughs>